Hey guys, it's Pam. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to my Greenly family. I'm so glad to have you here. Before I dive into the content of today's video, I want to give a big shout out to all of you because you really deserve a deserve a round of applause for all that you do to try to live greener every day and help protect the planet. I know we're all busy and so any little bit you do is huge so a big shout out to you give yourself a big round of applause anyway so today's video is a little bit of a follow-up to last week's video where i talked about going on vacation and staying green kind of keeping and taking some of the habits that you normally do at home and taking them with you on vacation, like figuring out what day the recycling's picked up in your rental home in the community and some other things. So I will link uh, that video up here and down in the description box below for you to watch, as well as a couple of blog posts that I wrote that go along with that. So today's video is about how you can save energy at your home while you're away on vacation because right there's no sense in kind of keeping all the electricity bills up and all the electricity up and running if you're not there <laughs> right so i know it's one of those things that sort of um you know on this huge list of stuff to do to get ready to get you know your family out the door and away for you know even a long weekend but you know if it's a week um the list is even longer so here are some super quick simple no-brainer tips that you can you know if you do nothing else you know do a few of these and at least you can cut down a bit on your energy use because conserving energy is a good thing um, and possibly save a little bit of money as well so that's not a bad thing either so okay so I am going to go through some tips for you I will link to the blog post that kind of goes in to more depth into each of these tips. But for the purposes of the video, we'll just quickly go through the tips and then hopefully you'll be on your way out to vacation somewhere. <laughs> um, okay, so the first tip when you are heading out on vacation, if you can do some unplugging around your house. So many um, items that you have plugged into your home even if they're off, um, maybe you have them in like standby mode, are still drawing power. So they're still using, you know, energy, electricity. Um, so, you, you know, and you're not there to use it. And so that's costing you money as well. So my first tip is to unplug to, you know, save some energy and money while you're away. Now, I don't expect people to like run around their house and, you know, unplug everything that they're not going to use. Um, but I will give you a, a quick tip and I'll down and I'll put this in the description box below is something that we did. You can do maybe not before vacation, but you can do an outlet inventory. OK, and so it's basically you're kind of taking inventory of what you have plugged in to outlets in your home. And I was very, I was actually surprised of the many, many things that we have plugged in. And so once you kind of figure out what you have plugged in, there are some things that, you know, maybe you don't need to have it all anymore or that you need to leave plugged in all the time or that you can sort of consolidate and put onto a power strip that when say you are going on vacation or maybe you're not using the you know um, xbox and the um, dvd player and you know all those things together you can turn them off so um, i do have another video all about this outlet inventory worksheet that um, i will leave up here and down below that you can reference but um, kind of unplugging is one quick tip to save a little bit of electricity energy and uh, money hopefully so okay tip number two I'm looking at the blog post as I share these with you is to adjust your thermostat when you leave um, I think you know unless you have a programmable thermostat um, and even if you do it's likely programmed to Kind of fit your regular day-to-day -day schedule when you're at home so when you're on vacation obviously you don't need to keep up the same um, temperature levels and so do what you can to adjust that maybe just turn it all the way down and leave it you know if you've got pets staying at home um, obviously you want to keep that in mind you want to keep it cool for them right now um, but just do what you can to adjust the thermostat and set it at a point where it's you know really not running like you were home 
So that's tip number two. Tip number three is to lower the temperature on your hot water heater. You can consider that because you don't really need to keep the temperature of your water hot if you're not there. Um, you just have to remember to turn it back up when you get home. So when you go to take your you know, shower, when you're home from vacation, you know, you're not ah, kind of <laughs> shocked by the no hot water. So that's tip number three is to lower the temperature on your hot water heater. Okay, tip number four is one that um, I often forget to do. Uh, is simply to turn off all the lights in your home except for maybe one or two so that it doesn't look like your house is completely dark and you know nobody's home and um, you know you can even put lights a few lights on timers so that way they can sort of turn on and off as if you're home not you know kind of alerting everybody that there's nobody in this home right now so turn off all the lights um, except for the ones that you want to you know kind of leave on to stay comfortable um, but obviously turning off lights could serve as energy so okay and my last tip which actually doesn't have to do that much with energy is um, to cancel your subscriptions um, and because you know you don't need your papers and things delivered when you're not there and it's a really good time which is kind of what I did is to use that time to switch to online versions of things so um so and that way you actually won't even miss getting the subscription while you're on vacation so um it's a great time to move to online subscriptions versus paper subscriptions so anyway that one doesn't have to do with energy savings but um i just threw that in there because it's something that i often forget to do as well okay so those are five super simple quick tips that you can do your kids can help um especially with turning off lights figuring out what's plugged in um, but really simple no-brainer things that you can do even when you are you know up to your eyeballs and things to do to get ready to go on vacation so anyway i hope those are helpful again i will link to the blog post below for more information kind of on um, you know specific temperatures to lower things to um, and then information about the um, outlet audit um, that you can do either now before you go on vacation or at some other time and then you can use it when you go on vacation you can know I just have to turn all these outlets out and I'm good to go so anyway I hope that's helpful I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you soon okay take care bye bye